Alec. Good. MI6 won't be able to reach us down here. But we'll be able to contact each other through the alternate channels on the ultra-low frequency sideband. We've got 19 minutes till those terrorists make the pickup. It should be enough, so long as Yurimov hasn't spotted us. I'll take the fuel tanks. I'll get the weapons cache. Last one out buys the first round. You're on. Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play GoldenEye Reloaded on the 360. In the last part we jumped off a dam without the parachute. I remember that was a big thing leading up to this game. It's like, we're gonna change this all to be not, you know, to be like Daniel Craig's Bond, not like Piers Brosnan. So their big change was that Daniel Craig doesn't have a parachute. Which is fine. I mean, it's a bit silly, but I mean, he did land into water, so Pierce Brosman didn't have water, the poor guy. What, is he supposed to just jump off and splat on the side? No, he couldn't. That's not how it went. Uh. Security seems light so far. Yeah, I have to say, this, of course, this is completely different. This is meant to be facility. Yeah, this is completely different, not quite as iconic, but it, it looks great, though. I think that's the way I would kind of excuse this. Like, this all looks really great. Uh, maybe I'm just, because this is the HD version, I'm giving it more credit than it deserves for the graphics, but I think they did a good job here, so that's why I'm not too upset about this being different. Believe me, there are some problems that I am annoyed about when it comes to this game, but we haven't reached any of them okay, yet. Radio silence. These first three missions are all great. They're all really well done and are like perfect reimaginings of them. So, oh, what tune is he whistling? Can't be anything good. Can I? Ah, uh, here we go. Let's go ruin his day. Easy. Kablam! No! No! Alright. Oh god, no, stop it, stop it. I think I messed that up. I think I didn't press LT quick enough to punch him, because you're supposed to... Oh, he disappeared. So he got sucked down the toilet or something. Um, he's, you're supposed to, like, hit him and subdue him quietly. But, obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> But yeah, so that's their take on this classic scene. You know, the classic, the guy's on the toilet and you kill him scene. Always brings a tear to my eye. They really turned this place into a dump, didn't they? I know it's like Russia, but I'm sure Russians have good toilets too. I'm sure it's not quite as dismal. Even Russian terrorists must have some standards. Oh, oh here we go. Right, so now we're into the stealth section. Or facility, I think it was a stealth area. Or you could do a lot of it in stealth. I can't remember the first bit. But look at these doors as well. They, they nailed some of this stuff. They really did. Right. Well, he's over there, so let's chase him down. Although maybe I should look around for some goodies, some collectibles. Nah. There really is no point to looking for the Janus symbols, and there's nothing else cool. Like you're not, there are hidden weapons like most FPSs, but you're not going to really find any. Oh god. Okay, so how am I meant to tackle this then? I think I can. Okay, no one saw. Or well, the guy I shot at saw. But the great thing about this game is that the corpses disappear, so you just don't have to worry about them, which is great. Of course it's unrealistic and it's oh it's lazy and the corpses disappear, that's not realistic. But it, it just makes for a better playing experience, you know. That like you don't have to worry about them. Like there are certain tweaks that you have to make when it comes to first person stealth, and I think making the bodies disappear is one of them. Like in a game like Splinter Cell it's fine. But in a game like this you need the bodies to, you know, disappear. So you just don't have to worry about them. Okay. Oh god. So I'm gonna have to take out this guy first. Are these guys looking over here? No. Actually, I might be able to do this. Yep. 
Alright, so now let's go to get this guy. So yeah, if I do activate the alarm, that reinforcements will come. So it is a case of it's worth being stealthy. And it's also really fun to be stealthy. Unlike 007 Legends. God, I can't believe it's taken me three parts to bring up that game, but yeah, it's the most depressing thing about this game in retrospect is that this is what 007's was Legends was based on. It was supposed to be this, but for six, yeah, for six films instead of one. You need to get to master engineering. Get the codes. Override the lockdown. So that's kind of really depressing, but I don't know. I don't want to talk about that game. I will at some point, but not now. It's too depressing. Where's this guy looking? Where is this guy? Oh. So I'm not too sure if I'm allowed to kill these guys or not. But if I go up behind him and melee their him, then that's gotta be that's gotta be fine. Alrighty. There we go. Nice. <laughs> the great thing about this game is that they don't have one standard like Oh, yeah, God! His goatee and his teeth like disappeared after his mouth. Ew. Don't care for that. Oh, here we go. Oh, one thing I love. I love that this gun is in the game. Uh, I can't remember the GoldenEye equivalent or the original one. I think it's like the DD4 or the DD12 or something like that. But I love that it's in the game. It's so cool. So we now have this, but it's not silenced. So it's like, if you plan to... Or if everything goes wrong, that machine gun's going to be really helpful. But then... There's AKs. All the enemies have AKs, so you could just pick up that gun, and the AK's better than this one. Alright, so that guy's there. And that guy's looking over there. Okay, good. So these fences are something you really want to look out for, in general, when playing this. Because they're mo there's a fence, like, in most areas, and you can see them on the map, so it's definitely worth doing. Right, I think... Hmm, see that guy's a worker, and then, but if I shoot out that camera, right, I think I'm just going to have to shoot this guy. Yep, and shoot out the camera, nice, okay. That went well, that went very well. But yeah, so every area has those sort of vents, and it's something 007 Legends did as well, and ugh, ugh, it's too depressing. Alright. Aha! Oh, shooting out locks. That's another thing where they really didn't need to have that, and having that in games was a bit silly in the first place, but it's so funny to do. Like, there's a reason why shooting out locks went away, because it's just kind of a bit ridiculous. Although I prefer shooting out locks on doors than bloody finding annoying key cards. Okay, it's not that bad, but... Right, here's there. Okay, so those guards are gone. Good. And that's another thing I kind of like about this game when it comes to the stealth. Uh, you don't have to assess the area in the same way that you would in other games. Which both take something away, but I think really adds something. And again, it's another way of it's a first person shooter. So having it... so You, you still kind of have to take your time and think about what you're doing. But you don't quite have to be as... You know, you don't have to assess everything and try and break everything down which I know makes me sound like a Call of Duty fag or whatever but it, I think they you know it works right so what's that supposed to be I'm not actually, yeah I'm not actually sure what that's supposed to be um, that middle bit there makes me think can I read huh that middle bit there makes me think it's the satellite uh, what's that big thing there maybe that's the golden eye satellite I don't know that would make sense, but I, I, I don't recognize it. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the secondary objectives. Is that a camera? Why is that so green? I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's like a lot of green there for some reason. Weird. Alright, well let's... Hmm. So I believe there's two routes you can take. You can just go straight down here. Or can you? I want to say you can. Oh no, let's have a look around. Yeah, you can go straight down there. But if you head back up here, then there's another vent that you can take. So the vent has got to be the more stealthier option, right? So I think I'm going to go with the vent. 
Although I don't really remember. I'm doing a lot better than I did when I first played this game. And the second time. Because I'm, I'm quite terrible when it comes to stealth. Alright, so wait for those guys to go. And I think this guy should be alright. I don't know what he's looking at. He's, he's just fascinated by water. I mean, I guess he came to the right place. He's working in a dam, but still. Damn, he's a weirdo. One of the worst jokes I've ever told. Uh, let's shoot this guy to make up for it. So yeah, so you can go all in guns blazing, and it's actually very possible to kill everyone. Taking but... the road less travel, James. The lower bridge will lead you to master engineering. Well, that's the um, that's the thing. That's why there's a 007 classic mode where you have health, but it it's because a lot of this game is stealth. Unfortunately, not all of it is. So it really is a case of yeah, it's good that it's in there and you can be all stealthy, but the fact that there are action parts of this game, like pure action, where all you're doing is shooting people, kind of breaks having the whole health thing. Because also the reason why it doesn't work is because the AI is designed like Call of Duty AI, which works for Call of Duty because you have regening health. You know, but in a game like this, it doesn't work. Or if it, in a game where you're meant to be stealthy a lot of the time, when you do action, it doesn't work having health. Because in the original GoldenEye, it would take like three seconds, three, four seconds for the guys to actually shoot you. But that was part of the design. You didn't see nothing. Yeah, that was part of the design. And that's why it was quite groundbreaking when Call of Duty had regenning health and enemies that shot quickly at you. Because for the most part, that didn't happen. You either had a game like Doom where you had tons of health, or it was just super delayed. Oh, this guy's dumb. Oh, this guy's really dumb. I'm right here. Oh, I can't jump. Switch weapon. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're not breaking my streak. Alright. I don't think there's anything around here. I think. I might have missed it. Because there is that optional objective where I, you know, I have to scan three different things. But I think I've already missed one of them. Maybe. Not sure. Alright. Anything? Nope. Nothing around here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. There's no way. Alright. Take out this guy. Okay, then. I think I'm going to take out him. Oh. I just shoot him, actually. Yeah, so, like I was um, going to say with the animations, the animations don't seem to be like, they seem to be specific, which is why you've probably already noticed, or you might have done, is that sometimes there's an animation of me choking the guy, and then other times it's just, I go like, that, like I pistol whip my gun and they just die, they just fall down and die. So I think that's kind of funny. Or, in a Wii game it kind of, you don't think twice about it. But when you're playing a 360 game with all the first person shooters that are on the system, it looks a bit weird seeing that simple like hit him and then, oh god. No! No! No, where's he going? No! Oh god damn it. I knew it! I absolutely knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Alright, let's go all in. <laughs> let's not mess around. Oh god damn it. I was so close. So close. Oh, I really hope these servers don't explode. Because they call on fire due to bullets, but servers shouldn't explode. In real life. I know they did in the original GoldenEye, but... You stupid cameras. Yeah, that was my fault. I was, again, this happens every LP and video I've ever made. I say something and then instantly put my foot in my mouth. You know, I was saying, oh, you have to, like, take your time a bit, but you don't have to properly assess the area. And then because I didn't properly assess the area, I completely messed it up. Because, of course, what you were supposed to do, go in here, kill this guy, go around in this fen, go behind these two, take them out, then come back around and kill this guy. But because I didn't take my time and I kind of rushed it a bit, that didn't happen. So free cheers for me. <laughs> And then there's another vent here. So you probably could circumvent I don't do most of this. You probably could. 
Right, so it says there's an area there, but I'm guessing that's just where the spawn point is. Uh, maybe I, I guess I'll have a quick look around just to see if maybe maybe I haven't missed the optional objective yet. Because yeah, I think you could yeah you could probably quite easily not kill everyone. I think you would have to kill a couple of people in this area, but but it looks like with the amount of vents that are in these rooms, if you could just get to one of these rooms, you can then just go in the venting system. Another comparison to Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh, Arkham Origins is going to be so good. As long as it's better than Arkham City. Arkham City was good, but I didn't. It wasn't a very good open world game. Um, oh, breach! Oh, wow. I was not prepared for this. Mm, bam, 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 die, and your stupid hat. Stupid hat. Don't even breathe. Punch in the security codes. Override the lockdown. Punch in the codes. Are you going to kill me? No. Alec, we're clear. Hmm, that guy looks like someone. I mean, he's a bit... Oh. Oh god, he looks ter terrifying now, but he does look like someone. Right, so I'm actually going to end up the part here. So um, next time in this play, Gold and I reloaded. I guess because I got the checkpoint, I'm going to have to knock him out again. But maybe I'll figure out how he looks like. He looks like um, an, a sort of Indian version of the guy. Is that a girl? Does he have a... Is he a spy? That's not him on his name badge. But no, he looks sort of like an Indian version of the guy that played that guy in Lost. Um, Benjamin, maybe he was called? I can't remember, I haven't seen it in years. The creepy one who kills Thingy. Um, without giving any spoilers. But anyway, uh, next time in this play, Gold and I reloaded. We're going to do some sniping. So I've been on the Storm 23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.